Hello everyone, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we will solve logical interview questions which will ask in Automation Anywhere interviews. If you are new to my channel, if you want to learn Automation Anywhere from the scratch, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Our first interview question is find even or odd number. Task description is write a program that checks if a given number is even or odd number. So input we have to take it from a user that should be a single integer and output we have to print or we have to show the message box. If it is even number then we have to show even. If it is an odd number then we have to show odd. So I hope you have understand the question. Let's see how we can solve this particular question in a mathematical equation. Example 2 is an even number, right? If you are dividing by 2, 2 by 2, then you will get an answer 0 0.00, right? If it is an odd number, example 5, right? If you divide by 2, 5 divided by 2, then you will get 2.5, right? So basically, whenever you are getting a whole number as a result, 0.00, .00 or 2.00, .00, like that, right? So that we will call it as even number. Whenever you are getting some decimal number with your result, like 2.5, 3.50, like this, right? So then we will call it as odd number. The same replica we have to do it in automation anywhere. Let's see how we can solve this using Automation Anywhere tool. First, we will add a requirement step into Automation Anywhere workbench. Okay, the first step is, let me add a step one, drag and drop into work area, zero one, take integer value from user, right? So that is our first step. Second step is we have to find whatever the value we are taking from the user right that is even or odd so find even or odd number right so this is our second step the third step inside the step it will come so let me add a third step zero three show result in message box right so what is exactly uh, we will get as a result even or odd that we have to show it in a message box okay so let's first go with the first step take an integer from user how we can take the integer value or any value from the user very easily in automation anywhere using one package that is prompt so using a prompt we can go with prompt for a value command and we can add some configuration like what is exactly prompt window caption unit. Example, find even or odd bot, right? So this is our bot that will find even or odd number, right? And the prompt message is, please enter single integer value, right? So it is asking, uh, as a please enter single integer value but unfortunately whenever we are saving this output into automation anywhere variable by default automation anywhere prompt for value will save in string type of variable so let first save it in str result or you can mention as str input right so because we are taking a input from the user so let me take str input but this is a string data type right how we can convert string to number everything we will see in the second step so now first step is completed let me collapse this and we will expand the second one second one is how to find even or odd number in automation anyway so as i told earlier we have to divide by two right whenever we are dividing by two if we are getting uh, some decimal number in the result then we will we can say that is a odd number if we are getting a decimal number 0.00, .00 or sorry 0 0.00 then we will call it as even number the same thing we will replicate here 
we have to use an action called assign from the number package because most of the time all the mathematical equation we can do it in number package assign and this is a very simple one right how we what we have to do we have to divide the input so example our input is uh, str input right but it is in the string data type we have to convert into number because our automation anywhere command is expecting a number if you see here so it is expecting a digit or a number right how we can convert before your last dollar symbol add a dot to number so it will convert your string to number in a inline that we will call it as type casting in automation anyway so now after that we have to add a divided by symbol right and number two and this we will save it in s n u m results so if you see now we are getting a result by default in a number type of variable right n u m result so let me create and select first and let me add first a message box so what is exactly we are getting a result that we have to see n u m result and we have to convert into string because message box is expecting a string data type. So if you run the bot now, the first bot will ask you to enter integer value, right? In a prompt for value. So once you will give an integer value, it will go and it will do the ma uh, mathematical equation, right? Let's see what exactly result we will get. So example, I will take a five. Five is an odd number, right? As we are all aware, five is an odd number. If I click OK, I am getting a value as 2. So I am not getting an integer decimal value, right? Example, I should get 2.5 as a value whenever I am doing 5 divided by 2. But I am getting only the integer value. I am not getting a float or a decimal type of values. So how we can get a decimal number from the automation anywhere command? For that, we have to use one special command called in string we, in number we have in number data type uh, number package number data type we have a two string option in the two string option we have to give first what is exactly the value you want to convert to decimal number example the my value is num result right this value how to convert into decimal number and how many decimal number value you need example i need a two decimal number 0 0.00 right two decimal number we have to configure and this one you can save it in string so basically the rule is whenever you are storing the decimal value in automation anywhere by default it will convert as a string data type so let me take str result right because it's in the string data type now select so now what we can do just drag and drop this message box after your two string decimal conversion then add here your str result so now if you run the bot we will get a decimal number we have not yet completed our bot please don't skip this because it's a very important question asked in automation anywhere interview so many times so now the find even or odd variable uh, odd value right so first again i will add a five and click ok so now we are getting a value 2.50 and what is the logic if after the decimal number right after the point if the decimal number is having more than 0.00 .00, then we can call it as odd number right example here 50 right after the decimal we have a 5 and 0 so this is a odd number right if it is a 0.0 or 0 0.00 then we can call it as that is even number how we can do that so example to do that we have to use a condition if so i'm just dragging and dropping if and in which format we have a string result so it's in the string data type right so str result in the string data type so we are dealing with the string so let me take a string condition and here you can give str result and includes 0 0.00 right so this is our logic so in case this str result is having 0 0.00 then we we may call it as even number right 
to do that what i will do just drag and drop this message box and i will add here so let me add um, str input is even number right so this is our message box see in case this is not includes 0 0.00 then what will be the answer you can call it as odd number right odd number so this if condition you can take it in the step 3 because we have a step 3 show the result in message box right let me take it like this so like this we have step 1 to get a information from the user and find the even or odd number using our mathematical equation then we have used the condition to show the message box let me run the bot and we will see both the scenario one even number one odd number how we will get a answer let's see so once you will run the bot first it will ask you what is exactly the single integer value let me take now seven right seven is a odd number so now you will get a result from the automation anyway seven is odd number and let me close and run again so now we will give some even number example eight right eight is a even number let's see what the result bot will give so we'll give a eight and click ok so now you are getting a result as eight is a even number i hope everyone is clear about this answer so if you have any question please comment on the video i will try to answer as soon as possible if, if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you i have already created rpa related videos in my youtube channel please go through all youtube videos and get the knowledge happy learning go be great